everyone welcome back and let's write some more neat code today so today let's solve the problem minimum recolors to get k consecutive black blocks so again like kind of a long problem description for how simple of a problem that this is like what it's asking us to do is actually pretty simple trying to like parse that is probably the biggest challenge um, I'll start with like the brute force solution though, and we can use that to kind of optimize some of the repeated work and then arrive at a more optimal solution. So let's say this is the input. So basically it's going to be a string of W and B characters. Why did they choose that? I don't know. They could have done zeros and ones. It doesn't really matter. But what they are looking for is we are trying to create, we're actually given another parameter. So in this example, a K is equal to seven. That's the other parameter we're given. This is a string and the other parameter is K. What we are doing is looking for a substring, or you could call it a window such that for us to make this entire window of size K, the window has to be of size K. So right now you can see the window is seven long. For us to take this window and turn it in to all black so we can recolor a white to turn it into a black. And so how do you do that? Like how many recolors would it take to make this window all black? Well, all you do is just count the W's in that window. So we could do that for this first window that starts at zero. We see that there are three W's in that window. So it would take three recolors to make this all black. Okay, that's good. What about the next window? This window over here that starts at the second character. Well, that one has one, two, three whites as well. So it would take three recolors. Okay, what about the next window? The one that starts over here. Um, that one has one, two, three. So once again, three. And then what about the last window that starts over there? That has one, two, three, four. So among all of these windows, which one had the minimal amount of recolors? Well, the first three had three and the last one had four. So I guess the minimal one was three. So we return the minimal, which is three. If you look at what I just did, this brute force, what would be the time complexity of it? Roughly, there could be like n different subarrays. So that's going to be O of n, and the size of each subarray is going to be k. So n times k, I guess that would be the brute force. But think about this. What is the brute force going to actually involve? It would involve, for us, like the first window... We go through everything and just count the number of W's in our window. It was three. Okay, now I want to start at the next element. Why should I have to count all the W's in the entire window over here? I already had this, and all I'm doing by looking at the next window is just adding this element and removing this one. So why should I have to do all of that? Surely there's a way to eliminate all of this repeated work. And yes, there is. It's called the sliding window. Very fundamental pattern. If you want to learn a bit more about it in depth and you want to use neat code IO, I do have some courses on advanced algorithms. I think you can find it. There's the sliding fixed window and the variable size window. You'll probably be more interested in the fixed one for today's problem at least. But anyway, so uh, doing that, uh, knowing like we can do the sliding window, I'll show you kind of the dry run of how we can use that to our advantage here. So assuming we uh, have two pointers, what I'm going to do is have like a left pointer starting at the beginning and a right pointer that's just going to kind of keep going. Using that, let's just keep track of like how many recolors we have initially. And for the result, since we're trying to minimize it, we could set it to a big value like infinity. But actually, the max number of recolors for a window of size k would literally be k. So that's probably the better initial value to set it to. It's never going to be greater than k, assuming that k is less than or equal to the input, which I think is guaranteed based on the constraints of the problem. So I think we're good to go in terms of that. So uh, let's initialize that to this. And so my right pointer is going to be uh, going. I see W. I can increment recolor to one. Then I go over here. It's a black. I'm going to go again. It's black. Then I'm going to go here. It's white. So we increment uh, recolor to two. So far, I'm not really considering these windows as a way to update our result because these windows are too small. Once the window is exactly of size K, then we can consider it. 
Now uh, right is over here. Well, over here, we would have incremented it to three. Now it's gonna be over here, and then it's gonna be over here. And now this window is big enough. So we will try to minimize our result. And three is less than K in this case, K was seven. So now we can update our result to be three. Okay, now, since our window is exactly of size seven, we should probably take the left pointer and shift it because we're about to shift the right pointer as well. So let's shift the left pointer. And if the character at the left pointer before we shifted it was white, well, then we just removed a white from our window so we can decrement the number of recolors. So now it's gonna be down to two, but after we increment the right pointer, it's gonna be over here, it's white. We have to increment recolors. It's gonna be three now, and the result is exactly equal to three as well. So nothing to do there. Once again, we will take the left pointer, shift it. It was black, so no need to update this. We will take the right pointer, shift it. Nothing really changed, so nothing's gonna be updated. And once again, left pointer is here now. Right pointer is gonna be over here. Now we actually increment the number of whites. It's gonna be four now, and that's definitely not smaller than the result. So now we keep going. Left is gonna be over here, and now right's gonna be out of bounds. So we are done with that. This was a linear time solution and constant space. So in terms of the code, it's pretty much gonna be exactly how I kinda of set it right now. Left pointer is gonna be zero. I'm gonna have my right pointer go from the beginning to the end of the blocks input. And I'm gonna have my recolor count initially to zero and result is initially gonna be K. We are going to return the result. And now if I see a white at index R, then I'm going to increment my number of recolors. If the window is big enough, so if right minus left plus one, that's the size of the window, is equal to K, then we do something different. We will update our result, try to minimize it with recolor, and also shift the left pointer. So I wanna do this left plus one, but before we do that, let's check. If the character at the left pointer is white, then we should probably decrement the number of recolors. So that's the entire code. If I made it look easy, please don't feel bad if you're a beginner. I've done this literally like a hundred times, probably not that many times, but I've done it many times, but I'll run this for you. And you can see here, it works, it's pretty efficient. If you wanna learn Python, I have several Python for beginners courses. Well, not just beginners, but also like Python for coding interviews and object oriented. I think Python is the best language for coding interviews. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.